Hi, Paula here with eXp Realty based out of beautiful North Vancouver. In this video, I'm going to be talking to homeowners who have lived in their homes for a very long time. I'm talking decades. You may have raised your family there. You've got all that's precious to you in your home. And the thought of just selling it is overwhelming. In this video, I'm going to tell you where to begin so that you can start preparing even before you speak to a real estate agent. So the goal of the steps that I'm going to give you is to be able to sell your home quickly and for the most money, because I can assure you selling your home when you've lived there for this long is very stressful to have to deal with lots of open houses, having to leave your home only adds to the pain. I've worked with homeowners and it is really, really uncomfortable to have people going through their homes weekend after weekend. So let's get your home sold quickly for the most money, but that's going to take some preparation, both mentally and work wise. So the first thing I want you to tackle is depersonalizing your home. It's going to take a ton of work and it's going to be very emotionally draining. So give yourself lots of time. Some people take years to get their homes ready for sale. You can do it as quickly as six weeks, but whatever you do, just be prepared that it's going to take a ton of work and it's going to be very emotionally draining. In depersonalizing your home, the first step is just to declutter. And when I say declutter, at this stage, I'm saying just get rid of the things you no longer need. They don't need to be sentimental. It's the things that have been sitting in boxes or the clothing that you haven't worn in years. Just start getting rid of all those things. You'll be amazed at how much accumulates and how much your home is decluttered just from that simple step. The next step is going to be a little more emotional and it's going to be the decluttering of things that are precious to you. So it could be the box of trophies that you've stored for your kids for years and years that now you're giving to them and they may not want and you may have to end up donating them or tossing them. It's going to be very difficult. You're going to be going through boxes of photographs trying to decide what to do with those. There's going to be a lot of emotional things that you've got stored in your attic or in your garage and it's time to start kind of going through them and deciding what you're going to do with those items. So as you can imagine, it's going to be very emotionally draining. Give yourself plenty of time to get this task done. The next step I would really recommend if you're within a year of selling your home is to get a home inspector to come and see your property and give you all the little fixes that need to be done so that the home is um, Again, depersonalize all the, you know, the, the little holes in the walls or the dripping sinks and the tiny things that have just kind of been left aside over the years, they can all be um, fixed up so that when people come to view your home, they're not focusing on those things, thinking, oh my gosh, this property is going to take so much work and it's going to cost me so much money. All of that will be taken care of. Make sure you keep your receipts, keep records so that you look like you're a owner that has been on top of things then that is going to help to sell your home so much quicker and those next buyers of your home are going to feel so much secure in putting in an offer. So as you're fixing all the little items, it's time to do another version of decluttering and that is getting all the personal items that you have around your home that you love to look at every day and start packing those. So start putting those in boxes and those can be the first boxes you unpack in your new home. But the reason for this is that if a home buyer comes and sees all of your personal things in the home, they're going to feel like they're in your space. It's going to make them feel uncomfortable and it's going to be really hard for them to picture how it could be their own, their own home in the future. So do that as you're fixing the, the, um, the uh, little fixes around that came from the property inspection. So once you've done all the minor fixes, the next recommendation will be to repaint your interior. It's going to give it such a fresh feel and make sure you use neutral colors. Studies have shown that beige or white helps home buyers feel like they can picture themselves in that home so much better. If you're painting it with um, bright colors, it's going to be too personal and they're going to think they're in somebody else's space instead of their own home. Another important item in depersonalizing your home is the curb appeal. So if you've got little gnomes or little trinkets around your front yard, it's time for those to be put away as well. And while you're at it, make sure you pretty up your curb appeal so that it appeals to home buyers. Now you're getting closer to the listing date. You've decluttered, you've sent your precious items to those who will cherish it. You've done all the little fixes. Your walls are neutral. You've got a nice curb appeal. 
it's time to start talking to a real estate agent and they should be able to um, refer you to a stager or help you with some concepts on how you can stage your property now as you get ready to list it on the market. So as far as staging, some of the quick tips I can give you is, um, you know, get rid of furniture that doesn't fit in a room. So you want to minimize. This is where you want to be a minimalist. Also make sure that all the rooms are turned into what they were originally intended to be. So if your dining room is a home office, it's time to turn it back into a dining room. These are all the little things that you need to do for staging. You might want to buy some linens. If you don't use them, you might be able to return them if the home sells quickly enough. If you want to get a stager to come in, that can be a really good return on your investment, especially in expensive markets like Vancouver. Um, you might want to get a mobile bin dropped off in your driveway or street where you can load up extra furniture and that mobile bin will go into storage and then they can deliver that bin to your new home. So super easy way to move furniture around. Your home is now ready for an open house and hopefully it's going to sell quickly and for top dollars. I know it's a lot of work. It probably feels really overwhelming if you're just at the beginning of it, but you will get through this. And at the end, remember, you're going to start this amazing new life in a new home where you're going to build memories and live happily for the years to come. Have a great day.